Hello everybody, in this video I decided to try and get a nice Basidi Ibex since their scoring is fixed now and we have the chance to actually get them diamond for once. And we had some insane luck and found two level 5s at the same lake together. But before we get into the video I'd like to remind everyone to subscribe and turn on notifications that way you will always know when I post a new video. Also if you want to help the channel grow be sure to share this video with anyone you think might enjoy it. Another way to know when I post a video or go live on Twitch is to join my Discord. We have an amazing community that is getting bigger every day. The links to everything will be down below. But without further ado, let's get into today's video. So with this last patch, they fixed the Basidi Ibex. And I've been seeing a lot of diamonds getting posted, so I figure today we should try and get a diamond Basidi. This is usually the best lake to go to, so I figure that we would stop here first. Because it has the most drink zones and the best chance of getting us a diamond. That is actually a really large one right there. Ooh, that is a level 5. And that is a nice level 4 right next to it, so we're going to take this guy out. I should probably make sure that there's nothing else in the area first. Uh, I don't think there is, though. I think that guy's probably the only thing decent here. So we'll go ahead and shoot him. He's in such a bad spot, though. Oh my gosh, there's a second one. Uh, so I'm glad I didn't shoot. I was about to shoot that other one, but this guy is actually over here too, and he's also a level 5. I believe that's the same score estimates too, so these guys will score very close together, but this guy's in a good spot, so let's actually shoot him first. That is a dead Ibex. I really hope I didn't hit Spine. Uh, he was about 280 meters away, and I'm 0 to 300. I aimed slightly low, so hopefully we're good there. But now we just got to get this second guy. It does look like they are out of his way finally. This is going to be a much harder shot, but we should be able to make it. So at 350, we're 0 to 300. That should be a long shot right there. So that one is for sure going to get full score, but the second one I'm a little concerned about. I think I might have hit a little too high, but hopefully we at least clipped one of the lungs. It was at a downward angle, so we should be fine, even if we did hit vertebrae. I really hope that we did not screw this guy up, because that would be kind of sad if we messed up two, or uh, one of the two Diamond Vecides. But can't really see the bullet impact. I think it's right there. We might have clipped vertebrae. I just hope that it was at a good enough angle to where it could hit the lung also. But let's get a quick picture of this guy because it has been a long time since I've seen a diamond Vasidi. All right, let's claim this guy and hope he's a diamond. He is a diamond by actually quite a bit. And we did clip the vertebrae, but we also got both lungs. That was almost bad, but we managed to get it. I got really scared when he just dropped on the spot. Uh, that is going to look really good in the lodge. And we also got that gray one over there to match him, so that's even cooler. That right there is a beautiful sight, seeing that gigantic horn sticking out over top of the brush. I missed hunting these Ibex. They just were not able to make diamond for a while, so I avoided them, but now we can finally get them again. This guy's also in a decent spot, so we'll take a picture of him too. Alright, let's claim this guy. He should score about the same, because they did have the same estimates. And yes, he is also a 199. But I like this color much better, so... This will probably be the one that I put in the main diamond area. That is super awesome. Super nice to be able to get these guys again. So I decided to put this guy with the red deer temporarily until I managed to find another nice red deer. But for now, this Basidi is going to sit on the wall right next to them. And I decided that I would put the gray Ibex in here in the main diamond room with the mule deer and the puma. Because this plaque was empty and I needed something to fill it. I figured it would go nicely in here. Eventually, I might reorganize everything to make it look better, but for now, I think this is fine right here. 
But it is awesome that we were finally able to get some of the Basides, and we even got the color variant that I like the most out of the commons. But I hope everybody enjoyed the video. If you're not already sub, be sure to hit that subscribe button, it helps out a lot. Be sure to like the video, it helps bump my videos up in the YouTube algorithms, and in turn helps me get more people to see my content. But until the next video, peace my dudes, I hope you have an amazing day.